Previously on Torres the Tank Engine. It's time to buy him. You need Bojan. Roman, I want to buy some gold rare players. We're in Division 2 now. I'm sick of seeing these same old faces around me. Can we buy some gold rare players? We're now in Division 2. We got the coins for the reward for winning Division 3. So let us buy some players, please. Torres, considering you won Division 3, I think it's actually fair that you do buy some gold rare players. So put them around you, try and develop your team a little bit more, and we'll see if we can win some more matches in this game. However, if you lose, I'll be very, very angry. Anyway, go buy some players. Thank you, Roman. I will go and buy some players and win some games. Hello everybody, my name is Bodens, and welcome back to Torres the Tank Engine. You've heard what we need to do this episode, we need to start filling our squad with gold rares, so we're going to go and buy Juan Fran and also Jose and Rike next. But anyway, before we get into the episode, if you look to buy or sell any coins, make sure to check out Fever Coin Traders, their link are down below. Fast, reliable and a trustworthy source for coins, and of course you'll have your automated system, so you'll be in and out in a few seconds. But there you go, that's what we bought before the match and into this episode fully. And we're going to come against a 3-4-1-2 BPL team with a Brazil and thrown right in the centre there, Mr. Lucas, who he's not the transferred version, so he's not too good. If he actually moved him with David Luiz there, it would get a bit more chemistry. But he's a bit idiotic, and eight minutes into the match, we're going to take the lead with Fernando Torres, the tank engine himself. But instantly, he's going to come back with a really nice goal, actually. I think that was Balotelli doing the back heel to, I think, Podolski finishing with his weak foot. And you see there... Um, Torres scoring past us, so it's now 2-1 to him, and Torres the Tank Engine has to betrayed us. Uh, but a deflection from the cross from, I think that was Adriano, and Canal is going to stick that into the back of the net. Really lucky with that deflection that it found us. Bojan here, though, is going to be dribbling past his goalkeeper, or his, um, his, his player, and he is finishing past the goalkeeper. That is a really nice finish. Um, and considering that was near post on that kind of, like, an angle and everything, it's really, really strange. I know that um, it's OP, but not that OP. Uh, Bojan here, though, still tearing up the defence and he's going to shoot and rocket out of the crossbar. Unlucky not to score there. Still 3-2 to me. We're going to take a shot with, I think that is Camacho, and he's going to have a saved right there. That is unlucky for us. Um, but he's going to come back, Mario Balotelli scoring, uh, making it 3-3, and he's piling on a lot of pressure, and he's going to make it 4-3 now. Um, and the pressure was just literally piling on us. Um, we was really, really struggling to get an attack. However, from a corner kick, we do take the lead. And that was a really nice goal, actually. Victor Ruiz getting pulled back, but he does outstrength the defender and get it in the net. And Balotelli here, unlucky to score. And the double save is coming up because there you go. That's what he does. Saves, saves it for the corner and then saves the actual corner itself. He's a fantastic keeper. I don't know who he is, but if you do know, make sure to buy him. However, here we do get another double save in with the goalkeeper. It's 4-4. He's piling on so much pressure. He's going to come back again. Great ball to Lennon. And Lennon is going to score that. That was a fantastic match. Fair play to him. 5-4 he won. And it was really unlucky. We, As you can see, it was like an even match. But he did have a lot more shots on target compared to mine that were off target. So, first match in Division 2. First loss in Division 2. Unlucky there. But we're going to go and change the fitness around a little bit. Um, I think that is Michu going into the squad. We've still got maybe, or maybe it's Canales on the left, Michu on the um, right. So we do have two left-footed players at camp. And the next match we're going to come in against is a 4-4-2 Liga BBVA team with a random Brazilian thrown in there again as the former Dede. So... Um, this is going to be a weird match. As you see, though, if he moved Kaká to the left, he would have that little bit more chemistry. So he's a bit stupid. I don't really get these people. But we take the lead in 10 minutes with Michu, and that was a fantastic, fantastic finish. I really do like Michu, considering he's like not, you know, he's not like these super high-rated people. As you see, there, that was an own goal, making it 2-0 to us. Um, but yeah, Michu is a really strange player. You'd think from the stats, he's not like, or from his in-game stats, he's not too good. But um, I find I find him really, really useful to use, and he's a fantastic player. Even though like. Um, his weak foot is really, really useless, to be honest, as it's like, I think it's two stars, maybe. Um, it's just pretty much useless. But as you can see, Michu on this side, is he going to cross it in? A double tap cross, and that's a fantastic header from Rodrigo, the partnering striker for Torres. Here, though, he nearly gets a goal back from the 4-1 defeat that he's doing right now. Um, he came off the post, unfortunately. We do get a penalty here. He fouls us behind Bojan, I think that was. And he's going to take the penalty and um, score it instantly into the top left. I do love taking penalty and you know penalty shootouts we've been doing really good in them like if you looked at my videos recently if you've been watching like most of them then uh, penalty kicks and you know penalty shootouts for me have been really really good
board and I've actually been winning quite a lot of them. I think I think it's like 100% win rate to be honest with all them, which is really, really strange for me considering on FIFA 12 I just generally sucked. However, on the corner kick there, we're going to make it 6-2. That was Camacho with the finesse past the goalkeeper. And another corner kick here. Can we score again? Yes, we can. It's 7-2, I believe. And we do score again. And there you go. After screen whatever. And we have got our first three points in Division 2. So anyway, after that match, we're going to go buy it. Puyol, who costs 5,000 coins. Don't know if he's going to be too good with that slow pace. But we're going to plop him into the squad. We do need a defender to swap around. We're also going to buy Xavi Garcia in a 4 triple 2 formation. So it's all in formation. And we're going to go buy two contracts just to uh, plonk on two players. And also a fitness card for um, Fernando Torres there. And that is what the team is looking like going into the next match. We do play Puyol and Xavi Garcia. So we've got a few gold rays in there now. And it's looking really, really nice team. And the last match for this episode is against this guy with a BBVA side with a random German thrown in there this time. So these people who are coming against lately is really, really strange, but Philip Lam is a fantastic defender anyway. Maybe on that six chemistry that he does have, he may um, do well against me, but six minutes in, Torres is going to score. He's had a fantastic form this episode, so hopefully he can score again in this game. Sergio Canales there with the follow on that goal. Bernat here having a long shot. Great save from his goalkeeper, who I think is maybe Valdez. I'm not too sure, actually. Um, I won't... I won't um, say it too much but meet you there scoring past the goalkeeper um, a fantastic finish with his right foot to be honest that's his weak foot so it wasn't too bad um, Torres there getting his second goal that he wanted not too bad on a volley there and that was his um, strong foot as well and also we're gonna tramp it past him he did pause the game and annoy me so um, I thought I'd just tramp it and then in the last few um, minutes of this first half he is going to how long am I going to have to say this? Quit. There we go. That is it for this episode, guys. Unfortunately, seven minutes long. Not too long. Uh, but um, three, three games in an episode is not too bad, in my opinion. So if we won 5-0 at the end of the match, match details show that we did dominate the game. He didn't have any shots. We had more possession. Basically, total domination. That is our second win in Division 2, making us six points and a few points from it, stopping us from getting into the relegation zone. So, guys, if you've enjoyed, drop a like. See if we can get over 300 again. If we caught it in, like, the first few hours, that would be awesome. Thank you, anyway. If you're new around here, subscribe for more, and as always, I hope you have a great day.